Hello, I'm Paris Budia, medical esthetician. My joy is to make both men and women look and feel their best using non-invasive treatment, whole food, and even good skincare products. Now, as usual, I drop a video every Friday where I answer all the questions that I receive from my clients or just people who follow me on social media. And so today's question is about hyperpigmentation. It turned out a lot of uh, people suffer from uh, hyperpigmentation and especially people who are from where I am from, Africa. So, because of sun damage, it's in the tropical bath. That's just one of the reasons why you could have hyperpigmentation. There's so many reasons why people have hyperpigmentation. So today, I'll be talking about one ingredient or one compound that we are now using to treat hyperpigmentation. And I'll be also be showing you one treatment that we're doing called microneedling to a client who actually have good hyperpigmentation that was caused by hormonal imbalance, I'll be actually be demonstrating that treatment. But before we get there, let me talk about this niacinamide. I know most of you are like, what is that Paris? I bet you in some of the products you're using, maybe it is there, but you have never bothered maybe to read and understand what you're using, which is one number one mistake a lot of people do when they're using products. You really know, need to know what are you putting on your skin, yeah? Because seriously, your skin, it's what people see when they see you. The first thing they see is your skin, so take good care of it. So what is niacinamide? It is a form of a B3 compound, yeah? The one I'm talking about is the one that you can use topically on your skin. Before you can come and do treatment, maybe you might start using the product at home and see if it helps if the hyperpigmentation is not deep. If it's deep, you might have to combine niacinamide and treatment. Coming in the clinic, we treat you, right? So let me speak to those who are at home and they're like, okay, can I get this through food aid? Well, yes you could. You could get niacinamide through beans, milk, fish like salmon, yeah, just to name a few. However, the ones that we get from the food we eat, it's good if you have clear skin, if you have healthy skin. So if you have a little bit of um, sun damage, if you continue eating these foods that are high in niacinamide, you could sort of see a different in your skin. However, if it's deeper, just you eating good food might not, and I'm sure you can bear me witness on this, it might not treat that hyperpigmentation. And a lot of us are suffering from this, especially for someone like me. It's when I was young, uh, I loved going outside and basking in the sun for hours. I really just loved it. And then what happened, as you're getting older, you start having this age spot that are brought by damage that was done when you're young. And so if you're a third person, then you need to consider starting using a product with niacinamide, use it topically, it comes with salons, it comes with creams like this, um, and you can use it morning and evening. Now, what is the advantage of using niacinamide? Let me tell you one, it can be used by all skin types. Most of the time, it doesn't irritate. However, I'd recommend if you're going to start using it, use it in form of a serum or cream as opposed to using it on its own because it could irritate if it's on a high percentage. The percentage I would say start with is about 5%. And then if your skin can tolerate it, you can then go up to 10%. However, start applying it topically where it's in form of serum or cream until you build it up here. Yeah? You have to apply it, remember, day, in the morning and in the afternoon. After cleansing, not after, in the evening before you go to bed. After cleansing, you apply and in the evening, the same thing. You wanna put it first before you put your other night cream or your other day cream or your sunscreen, right? You wanna put it first. So, like I said, the advantage is it doesn't matter whether you are um, dry skin, normal skin, oily skin, all of these people can use niacinamide. But 
it has extra benefit to people who have oily skin if you have oily skin and your pores are always clogging up and you have a large pores niacinamide is the way to go why because it kind of unclog the pores it tighten the pore it cross the pores and so therefore your skin looks smoother another advantage it balances the oils in your skin so that you're not overproducing oil and so therefore your skin sort of look matte as opposed to always looking oily so you see so it's a good product and I know now it's people think it's new because it's now a lot of people are singing about it but it's been there for a minute but it's now that a lot of skincare uh, product companies are starting to actually do good product with niacinamide because I tell you I kid you not it's one of the best um, compound I can say that treat a hyperpigmentation without irritating the skin because most people when they use um, this thing that treat hyperpigmentation their skin get irritated however however please take note if you are using asorbic vitamin C try and avoid using it at the same time with niacinamide why because your skin will get irritated so I would then do it this way use your asorbic vitamin C then in the morning and use this in the evening or use it every other day start by using it every other day and in that day that you're using it you avoid your asorbic vitamin C right because if you mix those two your skin could end up getting irritated but is it a magic pill no it's not uh, hyperpigmentation sometimes can be very stubborn to treat sometimes it takes six months to a year or even years to treat it so you need to be patient with the process yes you start topical if this doesn't work then you come to us and we can do micro needling uh, we can do uh, laser we can do uh, pills you know where we do chemical peel herbal peel there's so many other ways of treating hyperpigmentation but today I will be showing you exactly how we treat hyperpigmentation using microneedling and using glutathione yeah and we just push it in the skin and within a week or two your skin is back to normal you can actually go to work three days later it's not you can even go to work the day after however your skin will be looking a little bit uh, it's, it's like a little bit red pinkish yeah but it doesn't have a long downtime so i'm gonna be doing this treatment and i'm gonna be explaining it as i'm doing it yeah okay so join me and let's do this Bam. so now i'm gonna be putting the grinding and then i'm gonna start yeah i'm gonna start with the front right now 
Will this one treatment remove the hyperpigmentation? No. She might need up to even six treatment for this hyperpigmentation to either fade a little bit or be gone, depending with how deep is the hyperpigmentation, because the hyperpigmentation could be so so deep. It's hard to tell from the surface, even though we've done a good consultation with her. Sometimes the hyperpigmentation could be deeper than we think. So I'm going to stop and check the needle because I want to go deeper now. Like how long will it take for her to heal? Here it is, micro needling only take about a week downtime and it's not really downtime because really some people react differently some people will have dry skin on the area that was treated and within a week they're okay so do's and don't if you happen to go and have micro needling you really have to avoid sun yeah don't go sunbathing you must use sunscreen the first 48 hours is very important that you avoid anything that can irritate the area. So including your cleanser, you have to use a very mild cleanser and you cannot use anything with active ingredients for the first 24 hours, yes? Because you want the skin to heal naturally. Remember, we just caused injury in the area. As you can see, I know now you can see it's now breeding. I know people are like, oh my God, is she going to go home breeding? After this, we're going to put a mask to calm the area there's a mask we're gonna put and then she will go home and she will come back in two weeks time so we can see was there any improvement or none and if there was improvement yeah then we do another micro needling yeah you can have micro needling done actually once a month to give the skin i prefer to give the skin enough time to heal before we do another but you can do it every two weeks or three weeks but i personally i find once a month is good enough yeah it's a good treatment, not, not, not only for hyperpigmentation, for collagen production. What is collagen? Collagen is the glue that holds our cells together, literally. And so if you're getting older, if you are on over 40s, and like I am, and you feel like you need to increase your collagen, your skin is sagging a little bit, this is a treatment you could do the whole face to increase collagen. It's also good for enlarged pores. Yeah, it helps with reduction of acne scars because a lot of people after the acne is gone they are left with scars behind if you do this treatment it will also help with acne scars so you see it's not just for people with hyperpigmentation it can be used for also just smoothening your skin yeah I know you have a lot of questions write to me and I'll be happy to answer those questions next time again subscribe to our YouTube channel so that I'm able to answer your question genuinely. I have to let you go because I have to finish with my client for now. Thank you and till next time, God bless you. Remember, your health is your wealth.